I would tell someone who's suffering from fatigue to definitely go and talk to their GP. I just didn't realise that being in a wheelchair was a risk factor for sleep apnea. I did have a particular problem with fatigue. I was so fatigued that I would fall asleep even driving my wheelchair. The fatigue with Ben was atrocious. He would fall asleep during the day. It's just so hard to function without sleep. It's just fundamental. During the day, I'd find myself nodding off doing the crossword or even just reading the paper on. Fatigue became an issue for me when I had my daughter six years ago. I thought it was just a normal part of being a parent. I just got stuck into those bad sleep patterns. I didn't think much about it until I was at uh, a dinner at the RSL with a few cobbers. Three of them had the same sort of problem and they were using sleep apnea machines. I'd suggest to others, if they felt tired during the day, to get tested. When I had my annual review for my spinal injury, I was approached by, I think it was a sleep specialist, and long story short, found out that I had sleep apnea. The testing was done at uh, the Austin. After the first session, I was informed I had sleep apnea. <laughs> the first person to encourage me to seek treatment was a nurse at the Talbot. We did the sleep study. I didn't follow up on it. I did go and see my GP and then I got the chance to participate in a sleep study and it was then that I found out that I had sleep apnea. Sometime later my wife more or less insisted that I seek another sleep study and follow up on it properly. The snoring was atrocious. It was like having a freight train going through the bedroom. Unbeknown to me, I could have had sleep apnea for 20 or 15 years. I love my CPAP machine, but I hate my CPAP machine. I find it quite intrusive, you know, the, the lovely, calm, relaxing space of, of my bed. But I love it in that I feel so much better for using it. Initially, I had um, a few issues, like rubbing on my nose, getting used to the fact that there's um, air blowing straight into your face. But after a while, I adapted to it, and since then, it's very much changed my life. The CPAP has made an amazing difference to his life and to my life. I notice change almost immediately. I find I'm waking up refreshed after a solid six hour sleep, which I hadn't had for years. I can uh, wake up in the morning and feel like I've actually had a pretty good night's sleep. Having a good night's sleep makes it easy on the people around me. Even my kids notice. I'm not snappy. The conversation is a lot easier. Later in the year, I'm actually going to South America for four months, and I definitely will take my CPAP machine as it makes a big difference for my mental health and just, in general, fulfill my energy. We both get a great night's sleep now, and he's more active and I'm more active. I would not be as engaging as I am with the grandchildren. I'd be falling asleep all over the place. I'm glad that I, I use it and I wish I'd started using it sooner.